All right, very simple branding. You can see Mark Ang. I'm with uh, Blue X Trade, and it's really cool what we do because we're giving a lot of the freight forwarders and customer brokers here extended 30 day terms. So basically, on us, we're going to cover that ability for them to extend payments for their customers. So right now, we're in a bad economy. So you have lots of uh, customers that are probably paying late, and it has an impact not only you know, to the customer, this bad economy, but also the freight forwarder who receives their cash flow late. So we're gonna help not only the importers, but also the freight forwarders be in a situation where they can have stability on their cash flow. That is huge. So in other words, your target audience ultimately would be like the CFOs and the comptrollers of these uh, brokers and freight forwarders, is that track? Absolutely, so the key decision makers and even CEOs, because some CEOs are very hands-on with their financing, with the finance side of things. So those are the people I wanna talk to. And especially if you're a small to medium-sized freight forwarder, I think you can get a lot of benefit from what we're doing. I love it. All right, so in doing this, this is one of those that, all right, you may have struck the interest of some folks going, okay, wait a minute, I, what do you mean financing things? What is uh, some of the information that if you were to sit down to do an exploratory meeting to say, hey, let's just talk turkey here, as I would say, what information are you wanting to have somebody pull together to sit down with you so you can advise them? Absolutely, great question, by the way, Andy. Love it, smart guy here, and he knows the logistics industry. Very uh, simple underwriting process that we have. And we really just ask for financial statements. So we're talking about cash flow statement, uh, balance sheet, PL, and uh, uploading those documents and the, the invoice. So we're talking about the freight invoices we can cover include, like, say, warehouse packing lists, uh, the proof of delivery from uh, trucking, and then also for the shipping will be like shipping invoice okay. and the a bill of lading. Well, so, and one of the things I guess you would also be looking for what we call DBO, days billed outstanding from the time you've, you've uh, generated the service, now you're ready to, ha ha between the service and when to actually generate the bill and when you generate the bill and when you get payment. Absolutely. On the freight forwarder side, we will pay as long as those invoices are updated, they will get paid on the due date of this invoice. So it's as if the customer will always be paying on time, but we're covering it and we're taking the risk of chasing down the customers should they not pay on time. All that to say, folks, uh, watch us, uh, share us on LinkedIn, as I keep coming back and saying. Uh, we appreciate your uh, uh, support of the Simply Trade podcast. Mark, thank you so much. I hope you'll be a listener with us. Thank you.